Hey guys, Sly Sonic 7 back. Sorry about the long delay. It's the end of the week, finally get to relax a little bit, and now we're back on Sonic Story, 32% of the way through. Let's try to make some more progress. You're late. So, just because people don't know, in case people forgot where we were, we just went through Eggman's White Acropolis to get to him, and we were going to confront him and br somehow bring the Chaos Emerald to him for some reason. You know, bring him the one thing he wants. Now, the case. So, he's kind of threatening us a little bit right now, and I always hate this part. Sonic always gives up his thing first, and then expects Eggman to just reciprocate. Because that's exactly what every evil villain ever will always do, is like, give me the money and then I won't blow up the bank. You give them the money and you're like, why'd you blow up the bank? Oh right, you're evil. And here we go. We had to trust him, and now we're caught in some weird pink riff thing. No! It's no use. Knuckles! Your fists, they're not strong enough. No. Allow me to introduce you to my latest creation. This is the Solaris Prototype. <laughs> I really just hate staring at him so much because he's just like, he looks so fake as a real person. He's just meant to be a cartoon. So this is the dumbest thing. He says that this is supposed to be like his new project and he just, I mean, you'll see in a few seconds, but he just teleports them away because he thinks that will solve all of his problems. Yet. They're not dead yet. They've just Ugh. been teleported by my glorious. It's like the worst cliche of all villains. You leave them, you teleport them, you walk away, and you're like, they're not dead yet, but they will be because someone else is going to take care of it, but not me. But you know, the saying, if you want something done, you better do it done right, you better do it yourself, exists for a reason, is that it never works out. Power. My power? Yes. Why are you talking so much, Eggman? No one wants to see this. This is a waste of time. The princess. Oh my god. Oliana. Yes, we know exactly what she is. Revive the flames of disaster. And with its power. It's just still so vague what the hell that shit is. And rule the world. He keeps saying the flames of disaster and it's just like, okay, that sounds terrifying and probably game altering, but what is it? It's just, it's so annoying when all they do is just hint at some, like, evil ultimatum and you have no idea what they're doing the entire time. What the hell are you looking at? So apparently it shot them into the exact same place. Oh my god, Knuckles. That's definitely a concussion. I think Knuckles is getting like the NFL concussion protocol here. He's like, I feel dizzy. And it's just like, ah, uh, you know, you can just keep playing. Are we? Are you sure? I, I don't feel okay. Nah, you're, you're definitely okay to keep playing. You should just, don't worry about it. Don't tell the media about it. Just so they don't look into this. But you know, I there's like a 98% chance that you have some brain damage. But I, I'm sure you can work with it. Oh my god. All right. So, clearly the city looks a little bit different, and we were introduced to two more characters who I don't know if you're familiar with them, but in the black and red, it's Shadow the Hedgehog, who was the ultimate life form created to then that means Eggman. be the ultimate weapon, and next to him is a treasure hunter named Rouge the Slut. Oh, sorry, Rouge the Bat. She's just so terribly just, like, Ugh, oh, I hate how she was thought up and put together. She literally looks like one of those just, like, called shorty girls who wants to dress really slutty for Halloween, but just wears it all year round. Control, Will. And if you guys haven't noticed, I really just don't care about these cutscenes because as much as they're trying to make a story out of it, and I think it's genuinely kind of cool what they try to do by bringing it into the future to show how the world is... To it's just, it's really weird to just like try to react to them because the cutscenes just move so slowly and I just hate having to react to them all the time. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bad level already, I can tell. So, this actually is my least favorite level in the entire game. Um, it's for the simple fact that if you guys remember on the very first episode how much it sucked when I had to go through the mock speed 
well, probably was funny for you to watch, but sucked for me when I had to like redo the level seven times. So this level has, first of all, snowboarding, which I hate. And then it's not really snowboarding, you're just streetboarding at this point, which I'm kind of amazed that board is still moving, but I guess they did in previous games. But in addition, this thing has a mock speed section at the very end that you have to actually, oh my God, and I died. As I was saying, this is starting off well, um, you have to actually, okay, you didn't get hit, cool. You have to, you can get to the mock speed section and actually die this time and still get the S ring, which is nice, but this one moves a little bit faster than the last one and is actually even harder to control. So once you get to the mock speed section, I'll tell you more about it, but it's just, it's going to be going to be like me praying that I got there quick enough and that I could just hold on to enough rings. Because it's probably the only level in Sonic Story that like I can't 100% say that I could S rank. Because I'm pretty good at most of the other levels and I have a good feel for them. Like I know Wave Ocean took a lot of time, but overall I knew what I was doing and how to do it. But with Sonic <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. With Sonic Speed section, I really just have no idea. So, to give a bit of insight into the level, so basically, you got sent to the future, and you are trying to, obviously, um, find a way to go back. So, Shadow says that they should be going across the city to try to get to a new area that they can possibly try to find something else about find something out about. So this essentially just turns into a mad dash across the city where just to show just how terrible this future is, everything is falling apart, the city is unstable. I will say that this game, that this level probably has one of the coolest um, soundtracks to it. It's, the Christ, it's called Crisis City and has honestly one of the coolest ones and it's one of the few that I think really got ruined when they did the remake of Sonic Generations. Oh god, come on, get this right. Cool. Um, the one thing about this level though is that it's very fast-paced, it's very cool, but I will say that it almost suffers from putting too much in front of you sometimes, to the point where... The, one of the best things about the Sonic game is that it's supposed to be able to like auto target. Sometimes when you just press like the A button, it will just kind of like boost towards someone, which is convenient. And right now, I'm really trying hard to keep like pile on rings so I can have some extra lives for when I get to that speed section. So with nine, I should be okay, but you know, anything can happen. So we'll see. Um, the thing though about this level is because they have so much in every level, it's almost hard to control Sonic sometimes as far as where he'll go. Like that, I meant to go forward and I just completely looked the right. So you know, that's just helpful. Um, I think we should be okay though. Yeah, cool. So this level is actually going to have three different parts. So we're getting right near the end of this part, so you are going to jump across epic little building exploding. Now we get to the second part here. So now we get to the second part, which is me up in the air. And this part isn't hard, but for some reason I end up actually dying a lot here by just being a little bit impatient, which is very frustrating, the idea that it's a Sonic game, so you're trying to get through the level as fast as possible. I mean, just intuitively, you know, world's fastest thing, that's what you think you should be able to do. But, I think because you almost have to wait a little bit here, it makes you just, it makes it a lot harder to just wait and frustrating to just sit by until like the rocks are at the right height or things like that. So, I actually want to talk really quick before I get to the speed section and really start to get mad um, about my last video. So, overall with the content, I was pretty happy with it. We got through with only one death, even though Tails was just terrible. Um, I wanted to talk about how I kind of started to fade off and I felt a little bit tired towards the end of it. 
Um, so because of my job, I really can't record Monday through Thursday. And because of that, I think um, I really tried to almost prioritize just to um, really, oh God. And here we go, losing our rings already, come on. So I tried to like record a lot of videos in a row last weekend and that worked out fine and it was a lot of fun. I think the thing that was really hard about it though was that I was um, just basically talking straight and playing for a solid two hours, which the playing part is, is completely fine, but I think just because I'm just not used to talking while I play so far, I think it was just, it was a little bit hard to keep up, like, you know, that level of enthusiasm that you can normally talk about. Please, can I live? Can I live? I might actually get on the first try. This might be good enough, actually. Oh my god, we got it. The very first try on this. This is my least favorite level. This is a good episode. This is great. That was incredible! So, I've actually only been recording for 12 minutes. And it shows just how fast this can go if I actually do it right. Um, I could stop here, but I feel like I want to just give another level just to give you guys a little bit more to watch. If in the future you feel like you almost want this to be like a 10 minute video, please let me know and I can just shorten it down and really just do that one quick level like we did. But I figure it's more annoying to watch multiple videos than to have to watch one that's maybe a little bit longer. No matter where we go, all we see are ruins. How can this be our future? How could it come? I don't know. Nuclear bombs, World War Three. A lot of ways it can happen, honestly. Could it be true? If I eliminate that guy, will our world be safe? Wow. Time paradox. The day of disaster. Here are my records of this event. So for anyone who ever watched, used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh, actually, if you listen to this guy, Black and Silver here, this is actually the voice of Yugi and, Yugi, and uh, Yami, or Atem, I guess is the real name. And it's Dan Green is the voice actor. To blame. That's really gonna hold in court. Why'd you try to kill this man? The flames showed me it was him. Flish trigger? This guy's so stupid. He just randomly goes back all the way into the past and tries to kill this guy just because someone told him it would help. That makes sense. The Iblis trigger was alive. So now he sends them to the past, and then they encounter Sonic in the boss battle that we had earlier. What the? Who was that guy? He looked just like Shadow. The funny part also, as I forgot to mention, is that Knuckles is also voiced by Dan Green. So just like how Dan Green did Yugi and then Atem, and was very different sounding, he's also doing Knuckles and the other guy who I won't say his name yet, because you'll find out later. The date of this incident was two days after the Festival of the Sun. If we don't return in time... Tails' delivery has got to be one of the all-time worst. He sits there, he's like, The point of the sentence is that I was supposed to say something important! But the pauses just make you lose interest and before he ever tells you anything useful. <sighs> so, of course they just ditch us and Miss Treasure Hunter found a new diamond for herself. Or emerald. One. Well now. Yes, Tails, she did. Look it, but I'm a real treasure hunter. Unlike a certain echidna I know. <laughs> Knuckles is just like, what the fuck you say? <laughs> wow, man, you showed her. <laughs> Turn around and say, ha. Yeah. I received a signal indicating there's a chaos emerald here, but... You mean we've got to go through there? If you don't like it, you can yep. stay through the fire and the flames and the smoke. Don't be late. Same to you. Sonic, why are you holding up your finger for that long? He walks past you and you're still like, you, but he's actually behind you now, so you're not pointing at him. 
So I guess, like I was talking about in the last level right before I finish it, luckily in the very first try, which I don't think I've ever done, which is really cool. Um, I think I'm still trying to get used to this whole talking while I'm playing thing. But um, in general, I'm going to actually try to just make a lot of these videos over weekends, just so I can post them sometime during the week. Because frankly, I just don't have the time to do it during the week. So if there are ever times where it seems like maybe I am kind of just losing a little bit of steam or like energy, it's not to excuse it at all, but that may be a reason. And I'm about to lose all my rings. All right, I can still survive technically, and I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Oh my god, all right. So while the other level I think I said was probably the hardest for me to do, this level is probably one of the most frustrating in the idea that I think a lot of the design path they have just doesn't actually work. Also, um, I thought this would be funny, but up until the 22 second mark when I just landed there, I had not actually touched my controller. The game just led me along, which was pretty funny. And also a little bit sad because I don't think that's how a game should be made. But anyways, here we go. Stay full. Okay. Good. Oh no. Okay. Let's save it. Can't save it. Totally done. Okay. My bad. I actually touch it right there just to kill the guy, and then I don't, I'm having my hands off the controller right now. What a view! Alright. So, what I'm trying to do, since I keep failing right now, is, um, once you get past these parts, and I lose all my rings again, um, once you get past this, there's me a little group of those eagles in the section right past here that are basically leading up to one of the rainbow rings. And if you do it just right, you can actually boost off of them and then do a light dash right for the ring. Oh, come on, got it, cool. So that's actually really big as far as trying to have strength because you really do need to get that timing. So this level's gonna have a few different time, uh, areas like this where there's just gonna be a lot of enemies and the only way to progress is just to kill them as fast as you can. So it's just gonna be a lot of just moving around you have the big golem guys here, comes into view. who, they look big, but they don't really do much, which is fine. But, you know, it's just like, it's kind of anticlimactic when you really think about it, because there's this huge dude, and you think it's going to be, like, a bit more of a challenge, but he just takes three hits or four hits. This bridge is going to collapse. So, oh my god, come on. So, it, and I'm totally dead. Nope, might live. Alright, cool. We're actually gonna live this time. Big change. Alright, and there we go. Oh, that's actually a nice shortcut. Huh. Discovering new stuff every time. Um, so the, the key to this level is actually going to be more so than speed, which is important. I think it's gonna be a little bit more about trying to get a good stash of rings, but also just making sure you can kill a lot of enemies so you can get a high score there before you even have to get, get to the end. I think time-wise the developers probably had lower expectations for how long this level would take. Whoa, that's not a nice so it's not that hard to actually get a good time bonus. It's really just about not dying, which is hard because this game, this level does a lot to kind of screw you over, just in terms of like bad placement and things like that. Here comes more enemies. No sweat. I think this is the shitty part. Yep. So I hate this part. You have to hit the guy. And light dash got it. Okay. I cannot tell you how many times I lost a really good run right there because you're just mashing the X button, the light dash, and nothing happens. The light dash is as iconic. And I lost all my rings. As iconic as it is for Sonic. I was kind of sad that I was like really just mishandled this game because it's just it's such a signature move by him that I, it really should just be easier to use 
So the fact that they make it actually complicated, like, is a little bit frustrating, just because... It's just, it, it's it's such a trademark, like, you know, your spin dash or things like that, that you just expect it to be right. So, our genius plan is to jump into a volcano. Alright, so... Now we're in the second section of this, and in the second section it's going to be a lot about... Um, this is actually... Oh god, no. Did not want to do that. Cool. It's going to be actually a little bit more about shortcuts, because you can still face a lot of the same opponent and opponents, enemies, but um, the key is really just not wasting your time with all like the little jump ramps on the sides and things like that, because there's actually going to be the very first time that we play as Knuckles in this level, which, as cool as that- oh god. Come on! Um, as cool as that sounds to play as Knuckles, it's actually pretty awful in this scenario. So as you see, we walk into a room and the lights are off. So to get light, you need to hit these purple crystals. Now, somewhere in the idea of this, the developers thought, hey, you know what really gets the kids excited? Floating purple crystals. Yes! So they decided to fill an entire level, which is just terrible. Whew! How did last? So pace-wise, I'm actually not doing too well here. I'm actually about like maybe 20 seconds or so behind what I would usually be getting in this level. I don't think that's going to be an issue, but I just think that I might have to make up for it a little bit towards the end of actually holding onto my rings instead of losing them every five seconds. So with Knuckles here, what you have to do, oh god, is lose your rings, obviously. You see how I um, punch the ground and that pink light turns on? So what you need to do is, with Knuckles, you need to actually activate all of them. And because my time isn't too good, I'm actually trying to make up a little bit here by just um, taking out this enemy here to get that extra thousand points. It's not even a thousand, it's 300? Okay, fuck that then. So, basically there's five that are going to be scattered across the level, and you're going to actually need to activate them all, which is really hard. Just because I don't think they had a great idea of how to do this. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. And his controls are actually even worse than Tails. For as much as I pitch about Tails' controls, Knuckles are actually a little bit worse. And I might die, because I have zero rings. We get a ring here, that could be helpful. So the thing is, I don't know if this is actually fast enough for all of this. It might be. Nope. So, as you see, I hit all five now, but nothing has happened. And that's because this one has turned off, because I didn't do it fast enough. Which then means that the one down here has turned off. And hopefully that's good. Okay, so since I did that, now I'm back to song. Now, luckily I did that decently fast, but having to go back like that was also kind of annoying. So I have eight rings, which is horrible right now. Um, I really need to get this fast though, because the end of the level is actually right here. And I promise if I don't get the S rank here, I'm going to try it really quick, but I'm going to cut out most of it just so you guys don't have to sit through it again. But let's hope this works out. We're running down. So scary. What's going to happen? And there's the ring. We ended up with 40, actually, which is decent. Let's see. I don't think so, though. Oh, my God. Two for two on one episode. This... Wow. That has never happened. That was incredible. So, I'm not going to push my luck on this episode just because of how frustrating it is, and I'm not going to try the boss battle, I don't think, just because I want to keep this video maybe at 20 minutes for now. But I think that's me it for today, and I'm probably going to record another video sometime this weekend, maybe another one or two, so keep your eyes posted for that. But thanks so much for stopping by, guys. It's been a great episode. See you guys in the next one.